Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of In The Beats. And today we have a great one in store because we are looking at one of the most important figures in all of hip hop and one of my biggest influences, and that is the one and only DJ Premier. His production credits alone would probably take up the entirety of the video, so we're not gonna go over all of them, but his work with Gangstar, with Nas, and Biggie, and so many others were on repeat throughout my childhood. So today what we're gonna do is explore his style of production and then pluck out all the little gems that you can incorporate into your own stuff, all while we make a beat together using the concepts that we discussed. Sound good? Let's get into it. So what makes a beat a DJ Premier beat and where do we start? I actually came across an interview with DJ Premier where he was talking about his creative process and he said, usually I do the drums first and make a pattern that's fairly simple with just the one and the two. And I think the idea behind keeping it simple is that he allows room for the samples to influence the bounce. As far as the tempo goes, I actually averaged out a portion of his discography and in the end it came out to 90.275. So 90 beats per minute would be a good starting point for us. Now having gone through and traced back some of the samples that he uses in his beat, uh, I know that a lot of his iconic drum sounds come from drum breaks. And if you're looking for a little bit more information about drum breaks or you're wondering what those are and uh, why they're important for hip hop, we actually did another great video on it called Why Use Drum Breaks. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. So if DJ Premier uses drum breaks for his sounds, that's what we're gonna use for our drum sounds. I think Fleetwood Mac has a good one in a song called Prove Your Love at the very beginning. So let's record that in, we'll chop it up and we'll get a little basic groove going. Okay, so we've got that little sample pulled up here. Let's just take a listen to what it sounds like. So now what I'm gonna do is just take each one of these first hits, grab myself a drum rack, and then I'm going to map it out onto my MPK Mini so that we can play it in. DJ Premier has said in the past that a big part of his sound is the fact that he likes to keep things loose. To be exact, he says, a lot of the time I'll turn off the 16th notes, I'll play the MPC live so it sounds like live drumming. I like it to sound loose and this is why my drums have a little bit of bounce to them. So for all the drum programming, we are gonna play them in by hand uh, and find a groove that we like so that we can achieve a similar style. And now for the basic groove. That should work for right now. Now that we've got a nice basic groove going, how do we sample like DJ Premier? He says, sampling is a repeating part of our record that grabs you. In the beginning with Gangstar, we looked at sampling as taking things we appreciated sound wise. So that's what we need to do. We need to wait for something to grab our attention and just lock in. Now this can be a pretty tricky thing to quantify, but there are a few patterns that I've noticed in his beats. The first one is that he likes to sample small segments of records into what you might call stabs. Uh -huh. And we can do this by finding a point where the kick, bass, and harmonic elements sort of play simultaneously and then make a short burst out of it. Okay, so we are looking for a little stab here. I came across this sample from The Intruders called Turn Back the Hands of Time. So let's just take a listen and I will show you what caught my attention. that chord right there. So let's take that and use that as part of our beat here. I think that it should be a little bit lower. I just want to pitch it down a bit. So let's pitch that down, say two. And actually what I'm hearing is the stab to go like this. All right, so this has already almost got kind of like a real East Coast sort of New York sound to it, which is great. <laughs> Another interesting aspect of his beats is that they usually contain elements from several different songs rather than just one. Like for example, he'll have a drum break from one song, a piano from another, vocal samples from another, and so on and so forth. So we're also gonna do that by making a little medley of samples that we're going to join together in an interesting way like he does. 
So I pulled in another another little thing that we could sample here, which is Joe Chambers' early minor. And I heard this little section here that I feel like we could use for the bass. I'm gonna tune it down so that it's closer to the key that we're working in. That little piece right there. What if we went... Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. It also has that cool piano little note in the background that kind of hangs there, which I really like. Sort of adds to the vibe. When I listen back to this, actually, I think that it's dragging a little, so I'm just gonna increase the tempo by a few beats per minute here and see how this feels. Oh yeah, that's feeling good, okay. It's got a vibe to it, it's got a vibe. He also tends to leave space in the beat where he cuts out the sample for a small drum break, which leaves room for the lyrics and keeps the beat fresh. So we're also gonna include an element of that too. Let's just get rid of the very last repeat of that bass line that we made out of the sample so that we can let the drums breathe a little bit and we can make room for the lyrics like DJ Premier usually does. So let's see how this feels. So now I'm gonna take this section, duplicate it with Command D so that we can just get a little bit of variation going here. Okay, I hear something that we could put here, so I don't wanna repeat and have the drums breathe on the end of both beats. I wanna add a little variation, so let's see if we can put something in this little pocket here that would be cool from another sample. Okay, so after a little bit of hunting around, I came across this emotion sample from the song called How Can You Stop Loving Someone? And let me show you what I heard. <laughs> I'm thinking we can stick this part. Or maybe that part at, in that little pocket I was talking about. So let's, let's give that a shot here. If you listen through a lot of DJ Premier's beats uh, in the intros, he makes like these really interesting atmospheric sounds out of who knows what. So we're gonna include an intro of our own that also incorporates sort of atmospheric elements, but we're gonna get creative with how we make those sounds. I found this other piece of the Joe Chambers early minor song that I think could be good to manipulate into sort of an atmospheric element. So let me just show you what I'm the part that I'm talking about. We know that from the bass, we had to lower the pitch by nine semitones. So what we're gonna do with this other piece of that song is we're gonna go up by three, which is the same key, but an octave up, and see if anything sort of catches our ear. Oh, right there, right there. This sounds like something that he would probably loop. I just think it sounds cool, but it sounds like something that he might do. So let's see, let's see if we can move it around and... Okay, so after some, after just editing and moving stuff around and just having fun with it, I came up with this little sort of atmospheric, strange, little spooky loop thing that we're gonna include just as the intro. How about instead we take that atmospheric loop and we'll make a little B part out of it. We'll keep the bass going. And then we'll 
bring the beat back in. So we'll move that whole section back to where it was. Now, just to go full DJ Premiere mode, I actually wanna try to add one more sample in there somewhere. He does a lot of vocal samples. Let's see if we can find some vocals to sort of throw in there in that little B section before the beat gets reintroduced. I think I found something that will work. I was listening to uh, Scream and Jay Hawkins for some little vocal things that we could take out of there and I, I heard this. So let's take this little bit here and see if it fits somewhere in the song. Then repeat here maybe. Ooh, that little snare thing is cool there. So maybe we'll just... Lastly, but not leastly, we need to add the BS. Which is, as we know, usually the driving force of hip hop apart from the percussion. For his approach, he says, if the low end of the sample isn't really heavy, I'll follow the exact bass line of the song and put that underneath. A lot of people ask me what EQ I use to get the bottom end of my samples to come through so strongly, but I'm like, man, it's not EQ. I'm playing the same notes verbatim. So let's do that very thing. Let's see if we even need to add the bass here. Once we put it all together, this is what we've got. Okay guys, hope this overview of DJ Premier inspired you. Uh, I know he's inspired me big time in my production. Don't forget to check out our other videos on sampling for more tips and tricks to keep you inspired and creating. We will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.